Health Canada's decision on the Oxford AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine, it's expected any day now. If approved, it would be the third shot to get the green light here in Canada and would help boost the country's supply of doses, plus help pick up the pace of Canada's slow vaccine rollout. There are new questions, though, about AstraZeneca's vaccine after South Africa put its rollout of the shot on hold, and that was over a study that was really specifically honing in on its effectiveness on the South African variant. Now, more on that research in just a moment, but first, the other countries coming out in support of that vaccine, including the UK, where the shot has already been given out. We think that all the vaccines that we're using, both the vaccines that we're currently using, are effective in, uh, as I say, in, in stopping uh, serious disease and, and death. Reassurance coming from the British Prime Minister and out of Germany, from France and also from Australia. There is currently no evidence to indicate a reduction in the effectiveness of the AstraZeneca or Pfizer vaccines in preventing severe disease or death. That support for the shot follows South Africa's announcement Sunday that it's suspending the use of AstraZeneca's vaccine. It is temporary until we figure out these issues. What are the next steps supposed to be? The decision follows preliminary trial results showing the shot only offers minimal protection against mild or moderate infection from the South African variant, a more contagious strain detected in dozens of countries, including Canada. This is clearly concerning news. However, there are some important caveats. Caveats like the limited size of the trial and the younger, healthier profile of the participants, explained the head of the World Health Organization Monday, and he adds... It also seems increasingly clear that manufacturers will have to adjust to the evolution of the virus, taking into account the latest variants for future shots, including boosters. Melissa Duggan, City News.